Hello again, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. This time, one of my subscribers asked me whether a booster shot is needed or not. So let's review the data. Watch this. So if you happen to like my video, please click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you'll be updated for any new uploads to come. So who needs COVID-19 boosters? We know that the first COVID-19 vaccines were a welcome development during the pandemic because they were the ones that offered hope to an end for this pandemic. But what we know is that these vaccines would keep us safe and protected against severe disease, and death. But there's a lingering question among us as to how long will the protection last? Would variants make these vaccines available to us less effective? And other questions would be, would everyone need a booster shot in six months or in a year or in two years? So could some people get away without that boost or it is advisable for all? These are actually the same questions that headlined this week's meeting of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. What we know of as of now that the group isn't making recommendations around COVID-19 vaccine boosters, but the discussion shows how leading health experts are thinking through these issues. So let's go through them one by one. Here's what we know so far, that the vaccines authorized by the World Health Organization based on clinical studies work extremely well at protecting the majority of people from coronavirus infection. We know that the protection seems to last a while, but we're not sure quite how long. What we know so far is that the protection lasts longer than flu vaccination, of which we give flu vaccination to our patients with diabetes every year. So far, data at present also shows that the shots still work against coronavirus variants, even the fast-moving Delta variant. However, there are special groups of people where the vaccines don't work as much as we want them to work. And these include people who are immunocompromised, particularly people who had organ transplants. These people often don't produce antibodies after regular doses of COVID-19 vaccines. And thereby, neuro research have shown that third booster of COVID-19 vaccine could give more protection to these groups of immunocompromised people. That's the group that CDC seems to think could be the first to get a booster because we have clear signals that it could help these groups of people to protect against COVID-19. Then, after we learn more about how long the protection lasts for everyone else, or if new variants emerge, experts could hammer out details about boosters for the rest of us. In short, at present, there's really no data to support recommendations for booster doses, except for the caveat in severely immunocompromised host who are not able to mount a strong immune response. For other patients, especially the general population, what we know for now is that the data will come later and that ongoing studies are tracking the durability of COVID-19 vaccine protection and the CDC is watching to see if any variants evade the vaccine. At present, ongoing studies are tracking the durability of COVID-19 vaccine protection. For example, the CDC is watching to see if any variants evade the vaccines. And second, several studies are present, are ongoing, to check if people should get a third dose of the COVID-19 vaccine that already exists. 
or a new shot with an updated form of the vaccine that targets specific variants. Most experts do agree, however, that if we start to see an uptick of infections or reinfections for people or new infections in people who have been vaccinated, that's a clue that we need to move quickly. COVID vaccines are likely to be rolled out in UK in the fall to avoid another winter surge. Seven different vaccines are being tested in volunteers in England in the world's first booster study. So we have to await the data of booster shots. What we also know is that more transmissible variants, including the beta strain that emerged in South Africa, require higher antibody titers to prevent infection, prompting vaccine makers, including Pfizer and Moderna, to test whether quick versions of their existing shots will provide broader immunity. We also have data that one dose of the Novavax variant-directed vaccine may provide sufficient protection against these strains in individuals previously immunized with against COVID-19. So the modified shot has also the potential to provide broad protection against various strains if used as a primary vaccine regimen. And this is one exciting new vaccines that soon will hopefully be rolled out across the world, which is Novavax. As for Sinovac, of which the Philippines, it is the primary vaccine that we're given, that has been given to most of the general population. We now know that based on a second phase clinical trial produced by Sinovac company, the third dose of Sinovac's inactivated vaccine can increase antibody response tenfold in a week. The study showed that the volunteers who had received two doses of Sinovac's COVID-19 vaccine and then received a third shot after three to six months, the antibody response inside their bodies soared tenfold in a week and 20-fold in 15 days. It has been shown that after completing the two shots, Clearly, our body is producing a very robust immune memory. Sinovac vaccine and the company will, however, conduct more thorough and longer periods of research to determine the best time to receive the booster for the general public based on the analysis of early vaccinated groups to combat the threat of mutant strains. Data from people vaccinated six months ago is now being analyzed and preliminary results show that antibody levels, or about half of them, are still good within that specific period. But the general concern at present is not whether to give booster shots or not. The CDC is pretty worried about the troubling rates of vaccination in the world. Only 17.7% .7 of the world is vaccinated. In fact, if you look closely at the data, clearly we have a long way to go in terms of vaccination. But there are certain areas in the world, like Israel, wherein majority of the patient population have already been vaccinated. In our country at present, only 10 million total doses have been administered, and therefore we still have a long way to go to get the population protection. We know that unvaccinated people don't need the boosters because they really need their first shots. And we need to convince these unvaccinated people to help protect the community by getting their shots. Having more people vaccinated will definitely slow the spread of the virus and prevent new variants. It will protect people who are immunocompromised too when everyone around them is far less likely to have COVID-19. Therefore, they are at far lower risk of catching it. Figuring out boosters definitely is important. But getting unvaccinated people their shots right now is a very critical way to protect everyone. Prior to going around giving vaccines or giving everyone boosters, we really need your help in convincing your friends and your relatives that hopefully they can get their vaccines and we can, in general, improve 
the overall vaccination rate. Again, thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Jerry Tan. See you again soon. <music>